guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is a tutorial, if you want to call it that, on how you make this test this desktop background. This is probably the most requested thing I've got, I know I've said that a few times, but as you see here, thumbs up if you want to try my desktop background 164. And uh, as you can see, quite a lot of people want to know how to do it, so um, I'm going to be showing you how i done it. Uh, first things first. You need HDR, I like it Pro, I think it is, from Grayscale Gorilla. Uh, you need to go check out his uh, grayscalegorilla.com. He's uh, kind of like a Cinema 4D person. He is much, much, much more advanced than me, much better than me. You kind of that kind of aspect. So I do recommend go checking him out. Uh, as you see here, HDR, I like it Pro. And it's just kind of really professional lighting. It's like if you into photography and how you light a scene, that's basic. That that's like that on Cinema 4D. So you have all them kind of lights. Now, for whatever reason, my computer is not being the best. Best, but you can see like they're the balls I use, and I just kind of use that really, as I thought that looked really good. That's why I downloaded it so I could use it. For those people that are saying, "Oh my God, use Grayscale," yeah, I did because I, because I purchased it. I'm gonna use something that I purchased, aren't I? Let's be honest. Anyway, yeah, you, it is six, sixty-nine dollars, quite expensive. But if you kind of into that stuff, it is it's really worth it. Uh, or YouTube could be your friend. Uh, I'm not gonna go too into depths about that. But anyway, so uh, you can just open up the scene. It's kind of just a scene, really. Studios, and it's just Windows Light Studio. And uh, if it opens one second. Now I'm going to show you how I created it. Now all I did was I went to MoGraph text object and I just typed in Connor, cranked the depth up to 100 and uh, changed the font to Xyrod thingy and um, moved it over. I moved it up here and I clicked the middle button. I went to the right angle, zoomed out a bit. And uh, you see the text there. I moved it forward to look something like that. And then I added a rigid body. So I right click, went to MoGraph tags, rigid body. Then I went to the replace mode and added a rigid body to all of them. And one more, I did it to the studio and the floor. So now if we go ahead and click, go to the beginning, click play, you see that it falls on the balls. And it kind of gives a random effect but at the same time looks good. So and that is basically how I did it. So it folds, it saves rotating and doing all that manually, kind of does it for you. And if you just render it out here, oh, voice, I got a bit of a bad throat. Uh, global illumination, oh, I set it too low quickly. It does take a while to render that, it's because of the um, kind of like all the global illumination, all the lights that you've got. But as you can see from my background, it does um, it does give off quite a nice effect. And this is just like one of the many things that you get with it. I mean, all the different lighting sounds that you can get. It really, it really is a really good value for money, in my opinion. Anyway, I know a lot of people will be like, "Oh, why'd you pay?" Blah 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 blah. Anyway, I'm not gonna go too into depths about that because oh look, there we are rendered. There you go. You have the gloss. And you know, it's just a bit bland. It's kind of not like that. All I did was just added some curves to it. Uh, you notice it's faded around the side and it's duplicated it. Just went to a gouache and blur and it's got a razor brush and erased in the middle. And just added some flares. And that's how you do it. Uh, a lot of you requested, um, you know, $69. I do recommend you go and purchase it or at least have a look, you know, see what you get. Uh, or you can search YouTube. It's up to you. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video. That's how to create my desktop background. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.